I'm Matt Goad. I am an Oklahoma City resident since about the year 1990-ish, and uh, I do visual stuff like art and graphics. Yeah, people ask me what my style is, and I guess it's an amalgamation of all the things that I've always loved. You know, you, you become a fan of a bunch of stuff, and then it all kind of gets mixed together, and it becomes who you are. At least that's the way it is for me. I worked at, a, at an ad agency for a few years in the 90s, and that allowed me to get some of the graphics I did out in the public where people saw them. I did the E for Edmund with the tree. Oklahoma Keep Our Land Grand going into the trash. The um, Film Row logo I've done. The, the Midtown Vets downtown. Uh, Elk Valley Brewery. Well, Eve is my little girl. She's a 1964 uh, Volkswagen Type 1. I think Eve, in a way, unintentionally has become part of my trademark. I always love uh, photographing her in front of uh, a lot of the cool mid-century structures around Oklahoma. I love the Egg Church for so many reasons. It's so dynamic the way it looks, and when you see it poking up over the trees, you feel like you're in a Star Wars movie or something. I think we got a really good shot of kind of um, seeing that curve of the beetle with the curve of the church. I've never been a good photographer as far as, you know, the f-stops and all that, but I'm pretty good with the iPhone. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to Oklahoma City. The local time is 10.07 a.m. Central Time. Please keep your seatbelts fastened until we are parked at the gate. It is such a wonderful addition to our airport, encompassing 134,000 square feet of new space and many new amenities, including a new checkpoint, new airline gates, new concession spaces, and wonderful new art. I'm so excited for you and all the people of Oklahoma City to see this new front door to our great city. In 2019, they had a, a call for in entries for artists to submit for a 40,000 square foot floor. You know, I assumed, of course, there's no way I could even become a finalist, but it was worth, it was worth a shot. Frankly, Matt made the decision fairly easy. I've done a number of art selection committees and Matt's was by far the most thoughtful presentation that I've ever seen. And I think when people come to the airport and, and see this, they're gonna be wild. You know, growing up, wanting to be a professional artist, you never dream that uh, the biggest project of your life is something everybody's gonna walk on. <laughs> All I remember as far as my uh, earliest memories is drawing. I was always, always had a pencil. My mother was extremely uh, supportive and she's the one that kept the scrapbook. It, it's like a time machine, you know. You know, this could actually be in MoMA now, I mean. <laughs> I grew up the uh, son of a traveling preacher man. We lived in about a different city every, almost every year. Um, by the time I was 12, I had lived in, I think, eight states and uh, about 11 cities. Uh, I came to go to school at Oklahoma Christian in 19, fall of 1988. We were one of the only schools that had a good graphic design program, and I didn't know really what that was at first. It was but they said it's something to do with art and uh, you can get a job in it. So that led to an internship with a, a real design studio and that was when my eyes were opened to this isn't just a job, this is awesome. This is like, you know, this is wow, super cool. I'm a big fan of uh, mid-century modern, if you couldn't tell already. The aesthetic of it is to me just something that's, it's, it's a positive. It's like, um, 
looking forward in a positive way to the future, and that always makes me happy. So I don't ever really say I, I paint paintings, I say I build paintings because the way I do it's not like a normal painter in the classical sense. It's like an architect draws it out and then you build the house from the drawings. As far as how I do my work, I always, it's always an idea and then it becomes a sketch. All of these are uh, like mental notes to myself. I can do 50 of them and I might like two or so. But once I have one that I like, I cannot stop working on it. Usually I'm like giggling. You know, I'm having fun. <laughs> and what I do is I'll take that line drawing um, and I will bring it into the computer and make a stencil out of it. Yeah, I'm kind of a Jedi wizard with Illustrator. Still got some tape, I've got it ready and a, and a little bit of stencil. So then what I'll do is put a clear just over those spots. Then I'm gonna prime it. And then once I have that stencil built, that's when the color comes in. For me, color is the hardest part. That's why it's the most fulfilling when I feel like I've accomplished it. I call this checkerboarding, and it's kind of where you don't have a color touching exactly. It's almost like a square dance of colors that happens in my paintings. It's, it's funny how every color has its own little personality, how it, how it behaves. Some are more opaque, some are just beautiful. It's kind of like people. This painting's gonna be intense, like Boy Scouts. That's my joke, get it, intense. <laughs> Matt is the coolest guy I know. <laughs> and he, he doesn't even know how cool he is, and that's why I love it. I think we needed some bigger artists to give the space legitimacy so that we could be a platform for more emerging artists. And I always had the dream of having an original Matt Goad. Really, the only guidance we told him was big. As long as it could fit through the door. I feel like the more you look at this piece, just the more you discover. Like a little nod to the dolly clock in the corner. And the submarine and the infinity couple. It's very Matt Go. <laughs> see how this works. Good. I think I love it. I think I'm in love. Some people in the canyon. A little touch up here and there. My perfectionism is a, a, a compensation for the craziness in my head. <laughs>
the metal strips. So once I saw those going in, that's when I kind of got to see how vast this was. Every part of that project started with the little doodle. And uh, I knew that I wanted to have Will somewhere in it. Over here, he's tipping his hat to the visitor, saying, welcome to Oklahoma City. I tried to break it down into what represents the cultures of Oklahoma. And the, uh, you know, I thought sports, uh, music, hospitality, and then places, of course. The goal is to kind of just give them an excitement that you're in a world-class city. The uh, glass curtain wall represents the sky. If you know Oklahoma at all, you know we're a weather center, and each symbol represents a different weather event. And if you go around, it kind of creates a flow. Yeah, I, I still um, can't really grasp the reality of the, the, this project for an artist that, you know, wasn't really great at school, was kind of okay at drawing. I don't know, I, I still am pinching myself. Well, I hope that when people come to Oklahoma City and land in that area, they're gonna have an instant positive feeling about the city.